Hi there, let's spend a couple of minutes thinking about the difference between asymmetric information and moral hazard. Asymmetric information is a type of information failure where there's an imbalance in the amount of information held by the buyer and the seller. And this can distort the choices in the economy and lead to market failure. Good examples include landlords who know more about the condition of their properties than perhaps student tenants. Uh, a mortgage buyer who knows more about their ability to repay a housing loan than the lender. Car insurance companies can't tell the risks associated with selling insurance premiums to individual drivers. Some students seem to have better knowledge than others about how, how, to, get best, how to get into the best courses and which, which degree courses are the best to take. A classic example, of course, is a used car seller who knows more about the vehicle quality than a potential buyer. Uh, people who have inside information in uh, stock markets, the high frequency traders spring to mind. Imperfect information is when people lack in some shape or form crucial information which helps them to make a fully informed, rational, optimal decision. Asymmetric information is quite particular. It's when one party has more information than the other. Now, moral hazard is linked to asymmetric information, but subtle differences. So it's when a party that has superior information then changes uh, their behaviour in such a way that benefits them whilst imposing, on co imposing a cost to those with inferior information. So one example of moral hazard comes in insurance, where people who are insured are actually more likely possibly to take greater risks if they know or anticipate that a claim will be paid for by their insurance cover. And clearly the, the consumer of the insurance product, uh, the car driver for example, knows more about his or her intended actions than the insurer, the producer in this case. So a moral hazard can come in many different examples. One is the bailout of the banking system uh, post-2007. Uh, to what extent did financial institutions take uh, undue excessive risk by leveraging too much, knowing they would perhaps get a bailout from the state? And another problem of moral hazard is supplier-induced demand. For example, dentists probably know more about, uh, the, well, Dentists know more about you than you know about yourself when it comes to dental hygiene and dental treatments. And there may be the case where the dentist actually suggests to a patient that they need more treatment than they possibly actually do. Partly because, of course, they can get some fees from carrying out the treatment. That's a quick look at the difference between asymmetric information and moral hazard.